What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys a Choice Specs Houndoom team on the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Houndoom has been one of those Pokemon that I've used multiple times in different Pokemon playthroughs, and I just never really use it on the rank ladder. So it's going to be a lot of fun to actually rock out with that Pokemon, especially with the choice specs, making it do a big chunk of damage. But uh, the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is another doll. We got Lycanroc over here with Tough Calls and the Choice Span as its item. It's got a Cell Rock, Terra Blast, Close Combat, and Drill Run. But actually, this Pokemon might be a wolf. Yeah, it's definitely a wolf. But hey, wolf dogs, very similar. Cut me some slack here. Sinish is going to be our second Pokemon for today's team preview. A great support Pokemon with Hospitality and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Rage Powder, Mach Gotcha, Strength Sap, and Trick Room to pop that Trick Room or even counter it in this instance because this team seems like a very fast paced team with Tornadus on it as well. We got that Houndoom in our third slot with Flash Fire and the Choice Specs as its item. It's also got that Grass Terra type which is a perfect pair up to its ability and then a great move set of Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Terra Blast, and Sludge Bomb. Fourth slot is going to be a low one nine tails, a very good Pokemon at setting the weather and at the same time setting a roar veil. It's got snow warning with the light clay as item, rock and protect, blizzard, dazzling gleam, and a roar veil. Fifth slot is going to be our speed Pokemon. It is going to be Tornadus with Prankster and the Cobra Cloak as item. It's got Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Rain Dance for a bit more weather control, and then last but not least, it does have U turn to pivot out. Final slot is going to be Wellspring Ogre Palm with Water Absorb and the Wellspring Mask as its item. It's got its normal move set of Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Sword Stands for that plus two attack boost, and last but not least, it has Spiky Shield. Guys, you wanna rent the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Houndoom team. First match on its way, would love to grab you guys a win considering I'm feeling real good, feeling real comfortable. Woke up this morning, threw on this lovely game hoodie. It has like fleece on the inside, so. Super warm, super comfortable. Not feeling good. Ready to get some wins for you guys. Going up against a Monkey Dory team alongside with uh, Hisuian Arcanine, and then Larry Moltres, Sinistra, Grim Snarl for screens, and last but not least, they do have Milotic. Well, Aurora Veil seems like a great play for us considering they have no way of changing weather. So I'm going to end up leading the Nine Tails. Hopefully, it has Protect just in case you want to go into a Fake Out user, and it does. Beautiful. So I'm going to go into that, and on top of that, do I go into Houndoom? Maybe turn one, start getting ripping with this thing? I wouldn't mind that. I would not mind that. If I do it though, would not be bad. I like, I like Hound. I really do like Hound. You know, we're gonna get rocking with that. So I'm gonna go both of these guys, try to set up the Roar Veil, and really get cooking. In the back end, I am going to bring Ogre Pond, and last but not least, do I go in with Sinistra, or do I just go in with like Choice Band? Like and rock, and I kind of like choice band like and rock here, especially if we can get off a of war bell, that could be really good for us. So, a lot of Pokemon behind war bell become very bulky. That's what we're gonna hope to kind of bring to the table here in match number one. Plus, it has a cell rock, it's a first turn priority move. They somehow are out speeding us, and we can just rip up with that. Plus, they got a bird Pokemon, nice little Galarian Moltres that we'll be super effective up against. But we'll see who they want to end up uh, going into here. Turn one, let's see Monkey Dory Grim Strong. It is that is an option. And now it's going to be Arcanine and, and Grimstrong. So it actually works perfectly for us. I don't mind that one bit. Considering we're both special attackers if Intimidate comes out here. Yeah, that works out fine. And I get off the snow. So I definitely want to go for the War Belt. We should outspeed uh, them. So I'm going to set up the War Belt. Do I Terrestrialize? This is a real question. It's straight fire. Kind of want to. I don't think that would be bad. But then he can rock. He can send a rock move to me next turn. Which could be a tad bit of an issue. I think I'm just going to set up a War Veil and let Ninetales die out. And then maybe just choice into Dark Pulse would be my best bet. We do have Sludge Bomb, which would be super effective. But I'd rather choice into Dark Pulse and just start hitting this Arcanine. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. So I think we set up a War Veil and I think they set up Light Screen here as well. Yep, there it is. And maybe, just maybe, we can outspeed and get a Flinch here, which would be awesome. But out comes a War Veil. They got screens. We're going to have some screens. It's going to be a screens war here. Dark Pulse comes out here with the choice specs, still doing a decent amount of damage, and we get off a of flinch, which is pretty massive. That is pretty massive. So from here, I could Blizzard for free, I could also Dazzle and Gleam, 
Um, I think I'm just going to Blizzard. Maybe try to go for some freezes here. On top of that, just keep ripping Dark Pulses into the Hisuian Arcanine slot. I like it all around. So E-Speed's going to fly through here. Still doing a good chunk of damage. Reflect now gets popping on their slot. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. And we're just going to keep chunking up some damage here. Any freezes? Show me a freeze. Give me one. No, no freeze. Dark Pulse is going to fly again. Not bad damage. So I'm thinking I'm just doing the same thing here, right? Blizzard again. Dark Pulse onto the Arcanine. No problem. No problem. If I could take out Arcanine at the expense of my Houndoom, I would kind of like that. I got some good back-end Pokemon. I like my Pokemon in the back-end. And we can really get ripped with them. Especially with Sword Stance Ogre Pond. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Especially behind the, uh, the, what's it called? The screen. So Milo's going to come out. He's going to end up parting shotting into my 9,000. Maybe I do a double swap next turn. Maybe I do a double swap. Maybe, maybe I do a double swap. I could potentially just hard swap into Ogre Pond, have my choice specs res uh, reset if he does want to go into a water move with Milotech. But Arcanine's going to come back out here for kind of no reason. I think he just wanted on the field. Intimidate's really doing nothing. We're special attacking all the way. Just beautiful choice specs going to come across. Do about five damage. Dark Pulse is going to come across here as well. And do a decent amount of damage. So from here... Do I hard swap into Ogre Pond? Oh, I got a low battery. We'll fix that in a little bit. We'll definitely fix that in a lo little bit. But I'm thinking of just hard swapping maybe into Ogre Pond here. And I could end up Thrasilizing you if I want to. That wouldn't be bad. Thrasilizing Houndoom and just constantly doing damage. You know what? We're going to stay in here for one more turn. And I'm just going to go Blizzard and I'm going to go Thrasilize Dark Bulls into the Arcanine slot. Just because I don't want Milotic taking me out with a Skull or a Hydra. That's going to be my play. And while that's loading up, hold up. Got to reach for it. I always keep it on me. Let me bring this bad boy out. A wire's always plugged in for me. For these instances, always keep the charger plugged in. Ready to go. So I'm going to Terrasalize. They're also going to Terrasalize. A little odd. He Terrasalize. Arcan. What typing are you cooking? A fairy typing. Smart play. Should have done that a while ago, to be honest with you, Arcan. Should have done that a while ago. Should have done that a while ago. Blister's gonna get cooking here. Gonna do about five damage. Can this Dark Pulse finish him off? I really hope so. It can. Beautiful. So they just wasted out their Terror type. We love it. We love it. And we get rid of our. The screens are still out and about. They have Milotic. I'm not too worried about Milotic now that Terra is gone. And what are you going for? You're going for a life dude. So you're just getting some HP back. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So Arcanine's still just chunking up damage. I mean, Nine Tails is minus one on special attack. But I might swap it here, but Arc or Houndoon's just like chilling here. Doing some nice damage. Moltres now comes out here. We have the Lycan Rock in the back, and they don't have Terror, which is awesome. And I think I just throw another Blizzard. And then I rip Dark Pulse into the Milotic slot. Keep attacking, you know? Blizzard comes out here. Damage is very low. Looking for freezes. Haven't been able to get these freezes, man. I'm kind of upset. About it. No freezes, and wow, yo, Arcanine's critting and doing an insane amount of damage. Giving a flinch as well. And he's going to end up nasty plotting up. That's fine by me. I don't mind it too much. I do not mind it. We showed we already out speed. It is lovely. So from here, Blizzard's going to get cooking. And do I swap to Arcanine? Maybe into Ogre Pond here. No. I think we got off a lot of value so far. I think we just... I think we just constantly attack. Maybe look for a flinch here. Looking for a freeze, yo. Can we get the freeze with the Blizzard? This is swapping Milo. The Grimstar is going to come back in here. They're going to save the Milo tick. I have my lovely choice band Pokemon in the back end. Blizzard's going to get cooking here. Can we get a freeze? No freeze. Can we get a flinch? We are going to trigger Citrus Berry and Berserk here. Which is kind of annoying. And we're looking for this flinch here. We're looking for this flinch because this thing's plus three on attack. Has a chance to go plus four. And Fire Rash is going to absolutely nuke me, right? Yeah, Houndoom's gone. So Houndoom drops out here. Um, I could go into my choice band boy now. If I would like. If I wanted to. Or I can just go into you. No, we're going to save you. We're just going to go into Lycanroc. Cell Rock. Lovely little Cell Rock. Can you come out here? Now Blizzard isn't hitting as often as it should be. I might swap... The nine tails here. What do I just attack? I think I just attack. Go Dazzle and Gleam. And then just go a Cell Rock. 
yeah, I'm down. I'm down. Just attack this thing. Try to look for some KOs. He ends up protecting. Smart little protect coming out from him. Smart little protect. The Cell Rock is going to miss. Hope and Reflect kind of ends soon. Warrior only has a couple turns, and he's just going to part the shot. Oh, that hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. Great turns from our opponent. Play this one slow like that. But we're going to be able to get a free kill on the Milotic. We're going to be able to get rid of Milotic. Um, I might swap my Lycan Rock this turn now. I might swap Lycan Rock here. I think I might. That's a Gleam from the KO, the, uh, the Milotic. We're going to try to swap Lycan Rock this turn, but Fire Rock is like terrifying, right? That's looking real scary. It's looking real scary. That Moltres is looking, oh, it's looking like a problem. A big time problem. Grimshaw comes back out here. Um, see how many turns are left in screens and stuff. One in light screen, so that means one in war bell. And yeah, I'm just gonna go for Daz and Gleam. I'm gonna go for the Gleam, and I'm gonna hard swap you into Ogrefan, even though I don't really like it that much. Better than nothing. So we want our attack set back. Parting shot's looking bad, right? and he might just parting shot into, the, into that slot again. That's really going to be cooking. It's doing about five damage. Kind of hoping for a crit and fiery rash. Just oh, looking ugly. Doing too much damage for us. He goes for a low kick. Joker Pond needs up. I like that. Orville is now gone. Light screen is now gone. They might set up another light screen. At this point, I should go for this, and maybe just a horn leech. Try to get back his mage speed, or you know what? I might just double down into this thing. Yeah, it's gonna be my play. Let's get that cooking. Light screen comes back out. A little upsetting. How much damage can we possibly do with this Moltres? Because we need to get rid of this thing. He needs to go. I don't think we're KOing it. Oh no. That's so close. I don't think Dazzling KOs. Can you do it, Dazzling? Can you just pick up the KO? You do. That's massive. That is big time. That just came in clutch. Let's go. That's gonna be game set match. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. That, that was huge. That was huge. Just swapping an Ogre Pond at the perfect time. Lovely. We still have our choice band Pokemon in the back end. And there's a cancel battle. So 1 0, Hot Start, Hound Doom getting us started here in match number one. Second match is here. Going up against an Alolan Muck team for Regulation E. They also have Sylveon. They got the Grass Ogre Pond. And then the Dreaded combo of Shen Pao and Dragon. Always dreaded, always terrible. I think Aurora Veil is just going to be a money turn for us, right? I like Aurora Veil here. I'm going to lead my Alola Ninetales. So Alola Ninetales can come out here. Weather control is in our favor. I'm also going to be bringing on the squad and leading. Do I go Houndoom again or do I go maybe like Ogre Pond? Ogre Pond wouldn't be bad because we could potentially set up a Sword Dance to really get cooking. So I'm going to go Ogre Pond. I'm going to go Ninetales. I'm going to bring Houndoom in the back end. And last but not least, got to bring in the wolf gotta bring in the uh like rock really like this pokemon we could put it in the back end last game and it would have came out and came in clutch but big old ivy cudgel and dazzling was enough to actually ko the moltres that would have been huge that was huge we actually probably maybe still would have won this match choice spanning into a cell rock because to be honest say that dazzling Gleam does not ko the moltres then it turns into a 2v1, but we can KO the Moltres with the Cell Rock and then go 1v1 up against that Grimstrong. And I don't think Grimstrong was doing anything crazy. So he ends up going into Muck. And Muck kind of scares me. The reason Muck scares me is because it has the move Minimize, which is terrifying, right? It's very scary. It ends up dodging a lot of moves, and a lot of people like to run. But for this turn, I'm going to set up a Roar Veil. I'm going to try to set up a Swords Dance for my Ogre Pond. I feel like that could be very powerful for us. Give us that plus two attack boost. We can really get after the match that way. Considering he has two Pokemon that I think are not even going to attack us. Right? Reflect comes out from here. And then maybe a Minimize from Muck. Is that correct? Um, so I'm just going to go for the Swords Dance. And I might just try to sweep the right side at that point. If that's the case. And then eventually go after the Muck. We'll see what he does. Is he going for the Minimize? Yeah. I, I, I don't, I just don't like that. I really don't like that. Not, not one bit. Not one bit. But from here, I'm going to go for the Blizzard. And I'm just going to start tanking down this right side. I'm just going to start tanking down this right side. If he wants to set up three minimizes, be my guess. That's fine. I'm just going to start tanking down this right side. 
The damage is absurd. I didn't even crit there. I didn't even crit there. Can this blizzard land? Can we chunk up some damage? Heck yeah, it's landing. Give me a freeze. Freeze this boy. No, it needs to- Oh, you. This, this is how they're playing. I didn't mind the minimizes, but with poisons going on? Toxics, not even poisons. It's absurd. Do I attack the muck here? Do I say screw it and just like try to hit that thing? Might be my play. But that's going to be game. It really comes down to like, is he going to dodge this attack? It's getting scary. It's getting real scary. So Sylveon now comes out of here. Um, Sylveon, I'm uh, kind of worried about Sylveon. A little bit of a problem, but I'm just gonna go for Blizzard, and you know what? I'm, I'm going after the Muck. I'm going right after this Muck. I'm going right after this Muck. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. I'm landing this Ivy Cudgel. We're taking this thing out, and we're saying bye bye to it. We're saying bye bye to the Muck. Terror type comes out here, and that's going to be onto the Silver What you got, Cooking Silver A nice Steel type Terror. A little bit of Steel action. I'm hitting this muck here, no doubt in my mind. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry! Give me a freeze. No freezes, yo. My freezes have just been acting up today. You're gonna minimize again, aren't you? Don't do it. Don't be that guy. Don't just don't be that guy. Don't be that guy just to minimize. Even worse. Even worse. Ah, dude, that's so annoying. Alright. We're gonna tank this right side down as we can, right? Keep blizzarding, because blizzards, I don't think blizzard misses in the snow, even with minimize. It's just hitting. It's just hitting, which is lovely. The Toxie's doing a bit too much damage. It's starting to chip me up, and I say we just, we just go after that right side, right? Ivy Cudgel, Joel, Ivy Cudgel. Just get some value off with my, uh, with my Ogre Pond right now. Oh, it's so absurd. Muck? Really? Muck. Out of all Pokemon, Muck. Really? Muck coming out here. Ivy Cudge are coming out here. Taking out Sylvia. We don't play around. We don't play around. We're not playing around. <laughs> Sword Sands Ivy Cudge was a hot start for us. But yo, Muck's just a problem. Blizzard's landing. Blizzard don't miss you. Can we get a freeze though? Don't like this one bit. Don't like this one bit. So we're just gonna keep throwing Blizzards. We're gonna keep throwing Ivy Cudgels. Um, how much is this Toxie's doing this turn? I don't think it's gonna kill us this next turn. Let's see who they bring out. We should be able to survive one more Toxic for Ogre Pond. Let's say bring out a fast Pokemon, maybe hit us with like a first turn priority move, and yeah, there he goes, Dragon. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, Dragon. If you go after Ogre Pond, you're getting slammed by this Blizzard. And you already used your Terror, so you know what? I'm just gonna double down into you. I probably should have went after Muck there, but. I'd rather just chunk up some nice damage onto him. East speed's gonna come out here. That's fine. Like I said, now you're gonna have to take take this blizzard. That's your problem. Now you gotta take this blizzard. That's landing no problem. Bringing you down to that health. Love it. Drain punch. You got drain punch too? This muck's so annoying, man. So annoying. More than annoying. So he's gonna obviously east speed my He's obviously gonna east speed my nine tails here, correct? Makes no sense to, to e speed my nine tails. But if not, we outspeed the KO dragon. So from here, let's go into Houndoom maybe with like Heat Leaf. Or do I go in with you? I mean, I got Drill Run. I do got Drill Run for you. I think I'm just make sure I get rid of the dragon right here. So I'm gonna go into Houndoom here. And if I can land one drill run onto that, uh, onto that muck, we should be fine here. But yeah, this is where we go for Gleam, and we go into Dark Pulse, so I could go into a Heat Wave. Bit Terrasalize. This is ugly. I might just want Terrasalize you and go into, shouldn't go into a Heat Wave here. This is ugly. I just don't want that Drain Punch doing a massive amount of damage to me. I should have saved it for the... Oh, yeah, I should have saved it for the... Well, I'm looking just to get rid of this Dragon right here. I want this Dragon right here. I don't know if Heat Wave's even going to KO it, but we do have Choice Specs, which should be able to boost this a good bit. So the E-Speed does fly out here. Heat Wave. Can you do it? Can you do it here? 
Heat wave comes out. Your double lands. It double lands. It doesn't KO though. Burns? Any burns? No burns. It landed toxic. Real ugly. Real ugly. Real ugly. Real ugly. All right, so God, these guys are low. These guys are low. Real problem is, what move do I choice into? I want to choice into drill run, but I don't. I don't think it's play. I think choice into like a cell rocks would be a little better for us. I think a cell rocks would be your best bet. Yeah, it's gonna be my play. The e speed's gonna come out here. We're able to soak. A cell rocks in the KO. Can this heat wave land? He's gonna drain punch when he get back so much HP. I'm gonna be so upset. We've seen land attacks here. Heat waves landed, yo. Say less. Say less! Let's go! Houndoom clutching up on a minimized plus four. A low and muck. Houndoom clutch it up. That's two and oh. Final match on its way, and I couldn't have asked for a better first match and second match. Hound Doom absolutely rocked out for us, killing it in today's video. Love using this Pokemon so far, but we're going up against Pure Meta, right? Rillaboom, Iron Hands, Baxcalibur, Clutter Mane, uh, Fire Ogre Pond, and Urshfu. This one's going to be a little tough. I mean, they have no weather control, so a little Ninetales should come in here pretty greatly again. So I'm going to go Ninetales, and I'm going to go Ogre Pond again, just in case we have a chance to set up Swords Dance. It works so well. We'll go Hound Doom in the back end. And just go Lycanroc again. I feel like this squad has just been killing it for us. You guys seen plenty of Sinistra and plenty of Tornadus. So I feel like this squad could be really good for us. They got some first turn priority moves with the Cell Rock. And on top of that, we can do some nice damage. Some nice lovely damage. And if we're going up against uh, Hearth Flame Ogre Pond. Oh, it has Mold Breaker. I was going to say Flash Fire could come in clutch. But Mold Breaker hits right through the abilities. It gets, it gets brutal. It gets brutal. So we'll see who they want to lead here. They got the Urshfu and the Fluttermane. And from here, yeah, right? We got to set up a War Veil. War Veil can come out here and we just Horn Leech this thing, correct? Yeah, we just Horn Leech the Urshfu and try to get us some damage. So we're just going to go for an Aqua Jet. Oh, wow. That did got a crit, of course. And it's going to KO me, right? That's a little absurd. I'm not going to lie that you got a crit there, but okay. That's fine. No War Veil for us. Horn Leech now flies here and don't KO. But still, nice chunk of damage there. I could bring out a first turn priority Pokemon with you, which would be bad. But I could also go with you and maybe just go into Terra here. Yeah, I think I like that best. I think I like that best. So I'm going to go Houndoom here. I'm going to try to force the ghost moves over here. Well, not the ghost moves, the, uh, the water moves over here. And then maybe just Trasslice to pop a Heat Wave. Because Heat Wave will KO that Urshfu. And then we can kind of just double down the Flutter main. Kind of like, I can kind of get down for. It. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. It's gonna be my play. <clears throat> so hit that tire button. We're going straight grass. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. We're going straight grass. You could be going for close combat as well. That would be super effective into the Houndoom. But I like this terror type. The tech comes out from you. It's cool. We're double down the flutter main at this point. He's gonna end up going for a moon blast into Overfun, which is oh my lord, are you choice spec? You are doing an absurd amount of damage. Get on out of here. There's a KO. Oh my lord, that moon blast just is so much damage without thrasalizing. So I'm choosing the heat wave here. We got rid of one Pokemon, they got rid of one of us. Um Now what is my play? I wish I had followed me here, because I would follow me. A water move. Iron Hands comes out here and And I'm definitely just going to still rock a heat wave. And I don't have protect, but I do have spike shield. So I'm just going to spike shield. Don't want Ogre Pond really dying out this turn. So I'd rather just set up a nice little spike shield. So we'll see what they want to do here. Fake out is coming to that slot. So beautiful. We dodge fake out. We do a little bit of damage because of spike shield. And hopefully... Let's see what Urshfu's doing. Urshfu goes last here. We get off a heat wave and KO it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yo, Houndoom is just lighting it up today. Just being a problem, being a menace. I don't think a lot of people know what Houndoom does, so they don't really expect a lot from it. So they're just sitting there like, well, what does this Pokemon do? And then it's coming in with the big time moves. The so Mold Breaker Ogre Pond comes out here. I'm curious to see if my Ogre Pond is faster. That would be a lovely sight to see. 
A self terror type, we might be bashing. That's a quick, that's a quick ogre pun. That's a real quick ogre pun. So I'm just gonna rip another heat wave. I'm just gonna go into Ivy Contra. Into the ogre pun slot. Who might put on his mask? No, he's spiky shields. How dare you? Smart play. Very smart play. Spiky shield there. We do have a cell rock, which is pretty solid for us. Especially if he's gonna maybe put on the mask next turn. Heat wave is gonna fly here. Can we land this on the iron hands at least? Awesome. How do you kill him? Love it. Burn? No burn. Drain Punch. Gonna finish off Ogre Pond. And now I get to bring out Lycan Rock. Loik and Rock. So it's either... Alright, this one's actually... He has Mole Break. He can hit right the button. This is tough. So he's either going to put the Mask on the Ogre Pond here. And if that's the case, we hit it with a hardest Cell Rock. Or I could go into a Drill Run. Drill Run's not too shabby. Rio, come on, making him quit after he sees this Pokemon. After he's seen the Rock type Pokemon, he's like, nah, I'm out of here. We love it. There's 3 0, perfect record. Got you guys here. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Use Houndoom in today's video. Not only won a few battles, we won all of the battles. 3 0 for you guys. Houndoom, use it in every single match, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. Heat waves were dropping hard, Dark Pulse was hitting hard, we had other moves like Terror Blast and Sludge Bomb that we could have used, and just everything was working out perfectly behind this Alolan Ninetales of Woolly Hill. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.